TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K I C K dot com. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This, if we go live and you happen to miss it, this is where all the highlights will be. We do have merchandise. You feel me? Or do you get me? Uh, and we also got the Patreon. That's where everything goes that we can't post on YouTube. This is Can't Pay, Will Take It Away. Season 2, Episode 6, man. Let's get into this, man. You said my male fan base aren't here for it, though. That's on YouTube. They're not here for it. I bet you if we start watching it, they're going to get into it. Guaranteed. <laughs> What happens when you get into debt? Pay. Oh, so good. Okay, yeah. More and more people in Britain are having difficulty finding affordable housing. According to the latest research, more than 112,000 people declared themselves homeless in England last year. Homelessness and squatting are on the rise. Homeless single people squat. Damn. It's 6 30 a.m. in central London. High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill, Steve Pinner, and his son Ben have a High Court writ, instructing them to evict squatters from a five story office block. Squatters is crazy. There's real laws protecting them in America. The squatters took over the property about six weeks ago. Neighbours have been complaining of all-night parties and antisocial behaviour. In a situation such as a squat, tensions will always be running high, so the whole thing is going to be volatile, potentially violent and certainly noisy. Hey, let's get Squatting negative. in a non-residential building isn't a crime, but Paul's asked the police to attend this eviction. According to the police intelligence sources, there could be as many as 70 people here. And the actual place is quite a big building. It's like a squatter's travel lodge. Two security consultants have also been drafted in to provide the enforcement team with backup. If it all, like, war breaks out, we've, yeah. we've got the advantage that we can just walk away yeah. and then, you know, yeah, regroup. Withdraw, regroup. That's right. Then, so there's no yeah, heroics. Yeah, to fight another day. We've got yeah. kit in the van. We yeah. can cut the doors off if we need to. I'm going to get Doris. Doris is an intricate part of our team. We've had her for some time now. She's um, the fact that they only named four it. foot high, slim, and very effective. This job will oh. test the team's forty years of combined experience to the limit. You need to think. I think what's going to be behind the door? What are we going to be up against? You hear me? It's on a bigger scale. I think this is the season finale. Oh, maybe. There's more people inside. We don't know. Is there going to be needles? Mm. Is there going to be weapons? We don't know what's going to be in there. Hello? Good morning. We're High Court Enforcement and we come to repossess the property. So, can we have a chat? Uh, you sort of There's no props in this. Hello? Could you open the door for us? OK, let me let me just explain something just quickly. We've actually come from the High Court and there is no notification of us arriving. So that's the pull now. No, I mean, just let us in. We're, we're quite happy to just wait around till you get your stuff together. Yeah, that's OK. They'll all wake up. We, we don't have a problem. Honest. Trust me. 6.30 a.m. Do you want to do it? Other than that, do I have to open it? I don't really want to open it. I don't. Please don't make the mistake of barricading the door, because I'll come through very quickly. Steve's softly, softly approach doesn't seem to be working. It ain't good, it? Time for plan B. What's Wait, it? the whole building is being squatted in? So this is just a vacant office building in, oh no, the fifth floor, they said. Barricade the door. Okay. I'm 
That's a dog in there. Put your small bar pump on there. Right, go. Go lower. Go lower. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Keep them talking here. Steve hatches a plan. Tell y'all, doors is important. That door was undefeated today so far. Hello. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. But we will need you to stand back because if you don't open the door. Paul managed to talk through him the ladder box and then uh, Ben and I went round to the back door. Mind your fingers because it will go. I'll pull it. Delilah getting the workout today. The team fight their way past a barricade of mattresses and bikes. They really thought bicycles and mattresses was going to keep people from coming in there. They have no idea what reaction their early morning wake up call will trigger. Good morning. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Get your stuff together, yeah? Good morning. Could we uh, start to get your stuff together for us? Good, 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 good lad. Thank you. I heard Good this morning. was a thing, like, in the UK. I was watching something else, like, I think something where people were... I forgot what I was watching, but they were like, yeah, we're squatting in this building. Sometimes they can come whenever they come. Like, the fact that you have to get a high court order to get squatters out of your property is crazy. <laughs> morning. Would you like to start to pack your stuff up, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Just stay on the same floor. So far, so is this the old jail? Oh, good. Good morning, gentlemen. Get that camera out. You didn't ask for no. You didn't ask for no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't ask for no. Yeah. First warning. First warning. Right. First warning. First warning. First warning. Still required. First warning. Still required. You didn't ask for no. Shh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, okay. This is only the first floor. The enforcement team have another four stories to clear. The entire building, this is wild. It was wow. Five stories of homeless people. Hey, hey, okay, okay. We was gonna get time to leave calls, no problems. Yeah? Okay. Why do it like this? What? what, what will you let me? Would you let me talk? Why do you have to be? Like, we're human beings. Would you Why let me? Like that? Would you let me talk? Yes. Okay. Good lad. Okay. Thank you. Understand that from us, it's our job that you know we're instructed what to do. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Sorry, man. No, no, no. The officer I spoke to, yeah, yes. was really nice. He's yeah. a sergeant. He and he's probably in, here as he well. Yes, yeah, but he said he's gonna he said he's gonna do his best to yes. find out what's going on. Okay. So we don't have to cause Obviously, you this problem. Okay. And then we can leave. Okay, you understand. We're here now. There's no pressure. We're not rushing you. I'd okay. like you to get your stuff together. And we'll it's gonna take a few because we've got kids here as well. We've got people, you no, know, no, wait, wait. Here, listen, man. listen. It doesn't matter. It takes as long as it takes. Okay. All right. Is that all right? Fair enough. Thank you. No problem. We're only human. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I might be homeless, but I'm a human. That, I'm, I'm not a bad at person. At the end of the day, I'm yeah. not a bad person. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I'm just a human being. That's... Paul, Steve, and Ben comb the building floor by floor. They have yet to discover just. Bro, upset like he paid was paying full rent on time every day. Like that's how mad he just was. Just how many people they're dealing with. the door please whoever owns this building why don't they just turn it into an apartment building like a like a like make real units out of all of these places like that would be the smart thing to do like it's already set up for like rooms you might as well make a little hotel or something we're taking our stuff Let okay time. okay okay <laughs> You're all right, you got no more stuff. Hey, mate. Yeah. Loads of stuff. No, it's all 
Individual offices have become private bedrooms, and each floor has a kitchen and bathroom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You need to get your stuff together to, to start to okay, make Okay, there's room. no one in there. I've got to get all these people's stuff downstairs. Right, I've got packed clothes. Okay. There's no one in there. Yeah, we just need oh, to check. Obviously, obviously, we need to check, check all the rooms. Um, I'm afraid you're being evicted. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. So if you can start getting your stuff together. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm late. That's fine. There could be a dog here, so be careful. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody okay? Just so you know that we have to do this today and, you know... We just want to do it as nice as we can. I want to say this is messed up, but it's not. Like, y'all squatting. We're going to y'all found a place, you know, if it, like nobody was in there. All y'all had to do was keep it quiet, keep it cool, and y'all could have laid there probably for a little, like some more months. But y'all throwing parties, and that's why y'all ain't got no crib in the first place. Y'all probably got threw out y'all regular crib for throwing these parties. Y'all throwing whole... Y'all y'all wilding. No problems on a residential we have a policy of giving people an hour or so to remove their personal belongings in a squat it has to be scaled up because everybody's yeah. got mattresses chairs tables and other paraphernalia in probably 20 or 30 different rooms they understand the situation they've got to leave today and they're gradually getting their selves their belongings their animals together the crazy thing is they probably have been through this process multiple times so they know what's up man they be knowing what's up when it's time. And we're starting at the top and gradually work our way down and just flush them out. I hear the parties on the weekend are quite good. Um, excess of 200 people on the weekends. We've got our own bar, DJ box. It's all set up, it's well set up. But at the end of the day, the amount of damage in there for the landlord, we're talking maybe 100,000 plus Damn. damage. Every wall's got a bit of graffiti, every wall's got a bit of damage. Electric doors are broken. A £60,000 lift's broken. You never know it's going to happen again. If they can find a way in, they'll find a way in. I believe the landlord is now actually going to put security in the building to hopefully prevent that. So um, we're really done. Once they're out of the building, we're done, and it's then down to him to do his part and keep nice his building heart. secure. Out on the street, all the activity has alerted the attention of local residents. Well, it was hell. I ain't gonna lie, it was noisy. They had me up, I had to tell them off a few times. All hours of the night. Music and then the flashing lights out the window. It's a free party. <laughs> oh, piano. Oh, they got everything. God. Everything. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, they coming out of there like the stock market just crashed and everybody lost their job. It's tough. Oh, it's good from here for you. Three hours after the enforcement team arrived and the top floors of the building are clear. What we're going to do is we need to check, just check all the cupboards, open right. any cupboards that are right. open, and okay. then this floor can be sealed. OK, let me do the uh, top one first. Yeah, here. by all means, yeah. Is that your one? Oh, it's OK. I just didn't want the dogs running away, that was all. Good luck, lads. From here on. If it's empty... Yeah. Why are you gonna let it rot when someone could be in here living instead of being on the streets? Uh, we can't afford to have housing. I'm English, I can't get housing. It's a big family. Everyone's a part of a community. Everyone helps each other out. Everyone looks after each other. I'm a translator. Speak Russian and English. Bad for the dog. Yeah, they got. At the moment, it's a bit tough. I'm always on the move. Come on. It's taken four and a half hours, and the building is finally empty. See, I'm saying it took them four and a half hours. Like they. That was quick for a five-story building with every room almost occupied. And it'd be taking some of these people in these houses like 40 minutes. I mean, not 40 minutes, my bad. Six hours and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? On a lenient day. That's been screwed shut. They're all locked. Every floor's been screwed shut.
They fuck. They they f u c k this building up. Like if you was on some chill shit, like if I had a building and it was just not occupied, and y'all w- was willing to like y'all need somewhere to stay, don't party. Don't mess up my walls. Don't do no goofy stuff. Don't as soon as you break something, y'all gotta go. Like I, I wouldn't even be. I, if y'all keep it how it like, if y'all come in and y'all keep it as clean as it is when before y'all got there until I need it 100% back, all right, cool. It ain't nothing. But see, y'all want to act crazy. Look at this. Whole wall done. You know? Yeah, the whole DJ booth and that, man. It's all been quite amicable. They did what they did. They've all cleaned out. And they've gone. We had the last check of the It's all locked. Done. All, all, all locked. done. OK, let's secure That's the it. building then. That's locksmith's job, not ours. Some of the people we come across, they choose to squat as a preference rather than a need. But it's never easy putting someone on the street, regardless of the background or the situation. Around 2,400 people are estimated to be sleeping rough on any night in England. An increase of 37% is tough. The most recent figures from the debt charity Step Yo. Change reveal that on average, their clients owe five different creditors. In Stoke-on-Trent, High Court Enforcement Agent Stuart McCracken is working with trainee Ian Taylor. They're on their way to collect a debt of £2,800. It's owed for damage to a hire car. Well, How much? Stuart and Ian's high court writ instructs them to... $2,500 in damage for, like, a rental car? Like, what was you doing? ...to collect the debt in full or remove possessions from the debtor's home and sell them to cover the debt. He just walked up. He just walked like an a-hole, like, like a D-I-C-K head. Like, I could... It's something about, oh, hey, my bad, bro. It was, it's not even him. It's him in the background. Just wait for the sofa to come flying through the front window just as look I look at in. this guy. Hi. Not in, He's not in, right. We're high court enforcement. We have a high court writ in his name. Are we able to have a quick chat about it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. You able to get them on the phone? They like vampires. Once you invite them in, they in there. They can do whatever. Phone. No, he's gone yet. Right, okay. Why? What's happened? I don't really know what to do, who to ring. Him? Please get him on the phone, raise some funds. If not, we will be removing goods. Oh, okay. With this case, though, it's not, they're not taking their house. I forgot. They just, they just want, like, items to repay the debt. It's not bad. Times out of ten, once somebody is wrong saying there's two, there's two gentlemen here um, to talk to you, you tend to find that people do try to get home as quickly as possible. Hold on, man. Sometimes I, I like to look at the camera myself, and the lighting is just hitting today. Look, my teeth look pearly white, beard glistening. Ain't nothing in here. Just, just you know, natural body oils and things of that nature. Um... Shirt loose, taco meat showing. You feel me? That's all. Nose ring, nose ringing. <laughs> My bad. The defendant's wife calls her husband at work. I need to speak to this is his wife. Or... Yeah, it's not his wife. Yeah, it's not his wife. Yeah. Thank you. On the home number, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Unable to get hold of her husband, she calls another family member for help. Listen, I've got these guys here. Who are you, sorry? We're High Court Enforcement. High Court Enforcement? They've come to, like, take me assets and I don't know what to do. Can you come now, please? I don't know what to do. Whoever's about to come around is about to escalate the situation. All right, all right, thank you. Bye, bye. 
Stuart's God. next step is to take an inventory of everything in the house. The inventory of goods is a list that we take of the assets that are on the property that we're looking to seize should the balance not be paid. You don't want to be taking anything that is um, going to risk their quality of life, on a, especially on a, a residential. We can't take the settees or the, or the table and chairs that they use to eat their meal on. You can't take the TV, if it's the only TV that's in the property. You can't take the, the washing machine or the dishwasher or the cooker um, uh, because they need that for their... For what, the, what are you... So what, what can you take? Their quality of life. The debtor's wife insists... What's she going to take? Pictures? ...that her husband has arranged for the debt to be paid off monthly following the county court judgment. But Stuart and Ian's high court writ confirms that's not the case. I know it's been dealt with. We're gonna, he's going to be paying monthly, yeah? Right, but the we problem is it's now gone to the high court. It's no longer a CCJ. It is now a high court writ. What can I do today? <clears throat> I can't pay the full amount. I, I can't stand him. Th yo. Who else has watched multiple of these shows with me? Like, this guy is like... His face is just annoying. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, look how he's standing. Like, oh. I know I can't. How much is it? A thousand pounds or something? It's 2,877 pounds and 53 pence. And you want to take over 2,000 pounds today? Yeah. Yes. We're not rich people. Yes. Yeah, I've got seven children. Yes, yeah. that's understandable. So, I haven't got it. I swear I don't have you got it. No. Minutes nephew? later, two family members arrive. How much? How much can I give you? How much can you get? That's the question. Because in theory, we're here for the full amount. Can we try to do five hundred quid? Five hundred quid? It's been more than that. It's three grand debt, nearly. Yeah, I know. Which shouldn't be here. This should be at least a grand. There's no chance. Five hundred wasn't bad, though. There's still no sign of the debtor, but more relatives are rushing to his wife's rescue. Brother. Is it your brother, is yeah, it? Yeah, this is my brother. We have a high court writ. Yeah, it's uh, my ID. High court writ, mate. There you go. Where's your ID, mate? Sorry? Where's your ID? Uh, right. Taxi, taxi, taxi. No, I've been standing. No, you showed me ID, taxi. Standing all morning, mate. Take a seat, I'd like to see. Hang on, no, you can. Let me so, have a look. Keep hold of it. There you go. Right, take a seat. Go on, we're asking you now to take a seat. It's all right, mate. I'll stand. Oh, you stand. You take yeah. a seat, mate. Yeah. No, you, you play bad cop. You play good cop. <laughs> Look at this guy, bro. No, oh, no, it doesn't work. You watch too many movies. Take a seat. No. Like no don't, don't, don't do that to me, mate. Don't do that. When something comes to the door, and if it involves a partner, the friends, or family, um, people do get quite bad tempered. They lose a little bit of patience with us because they didn't think that this would be coming to their doorstep. These guys are saying that they're going to take assets. Yeah, right. What in the house? <laughs> mm. Yeah. You should have opened the door to them, number one. And number well, two. I didn't know. Number two. Kicking them out isn't a problem, by the way. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to have to leave. They can't come here and stop picking something. They can. Come out. They can sit here. They can wait for your husband. And that smirk on his face will go in a bit. That's tries to do it. Do that, mate. You'll be arrested. Please Sorry, don't stop fighting. Do that. Look, Please. if you phone the police, they will tell you that we are allowed yeah, to do exactly that. We've got trouble in the community. Just make a couple of film goes in with problems for you boys. Okay, so you guys have to make a decision. But like I said, it's either payment or goods will be removed. Sorry? So either payment or the goods will be removed. It's going to be difficult. How is it going to be difficult? Well, when you stop putting your hands on me, I'll show you, mate. Because you're not taking anything. Mm -hmm. you're not, you know. Like I said to you, again, here in this situation, in this community, you're going to be causing more problems. Can you flipping right? We don't want that. Stewart's heard enough. Emergency witch service. Can I have the police, please? Police? Yes. I've been threatened with acts of violence should I remove goods within the community, i.e. there are probably going to be more people turning up should I start removing goods. I need police assistance due to breach of the peace. I need someone here sharpish. At the end of the day, he be standing like that, like nonchalant. I don't, he don't even be talking crazy, but he be talking crazy. He be just feeling like he talking crazy. He ain't said like, like nothing. He said like six words this entire transaction, and I feel like he was talking crazy. I don't know what it is about dude. He just punchable. Allegedly. YouTube, I don't condone violence. My foot up. Oh.
<laughs> oh, that's funny. I do have a question though for Kick. I'll ask it later. The police have turned around and said that they've got no one that can send out to us. Now, no one. The office. Andy, you're right, mate. Yeah, it's a bad one, mate. Middle of a busy street. Everybody knows everyone else. We've got about 20 of them in the house. Th threats of violence. Stuart's aware that they may have to accept the wife's original offer of five hundred pounds and set up a payment plan. Yeah, buddy. Sometimes you gotta know when you you can't take this beating. Police can't even get to you. Hold on. Police can't even get to you. You're gonna be beat up before they even. You know what I'm saying? That did not work. Got it. I don't go into somewhere thinking, oh, I'll get 25% and then get the rest on three weeks' terms. It doesn't happen like that. I'm there to get the full amount, if not the next best option, which could be a payment plan. That's the husband. Another friend arrives to talk the family through their options. Can you all go into the front room? Yeah. The friend helped the debtor fill out the original county court forms, arranging for the debt to be paid off monthly. But it turns out they were not returned in time. The letter that Barbara sent, was it late? Yeah. How many days? I don't know. How would you know it was late? Because it came back. Well, when it came back, how, why did it come back? That's what I don't understand. Because it was late. You have to do it within 14 days. If you got it late, love, you get flipping shafted. And that's our fault. Somebody was sensed and came through the door. You know what I mean? If anything belongs to like these sofas, yeah, that's fair. They're mine. No, they're mine. I paid them. What's, what's the best situation you do? Let's see what we can do. Before you go. Best plan, yeah. Find sofa on the other side. Okay, can we please get rid of them? So, can we try and get £500 together? Yeah, come on. Pockets. And then we'll be on our way. That boy, quiet now. Now it's now. clear that £500 is the best offer they'll get. I ain't never seen them ever settle for less than what they, you know what I'm saying, less than half. Stuart calls the office to arrange a payment hey. plan with the claimant. Good, oh, Jay. Right. What's going on, y'all? Appreciate Stuart you. Stuart suggests £100 a month to My clear time. the remaining £2,300. Right, they've accepted the uh, 500 a day, £100 a month, which is a good sign. Um, uh, so let's go in, get that arrangement hey. all signed, and then we'll be on our way. It's good for this gentleman to come down because this gentleman helped my brother in law fill out some forms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, well, now you calm. Good because when he came down, he says, There's nothing you can do. Now, when it comes from somebody who's on your side exactly. saying there's nothing you can do, yeah. then straight away you start thinking in that. The egos can go straight down, and you can start saying, you know what, there's nothing we can actually do now. An hour after Stuart and Ian arrived, they finally get their hands on some cash. I've got £500 for you. I'm going to pay all this back. Anybody know how to go full screen on kick? I thought it was like just in the corner or something. You tap it. Oh, there you go. I just had to do my six year Wait, what? I just had to take my six year old son's $20. Dang. I'm pretty sure he cool with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he cool with it. Give me a quick scribble there and then we'll be on our way. And I wish you all the best. See you later. <laughs> hey, look at him. Bro is genuinely scared. Tucking his tail and getting back in that van as quick as possible. Well, another arrangement. It's not the paid in full we wanted, but at least we got an arrangement. At least the client's happy. Something, yes. Considering it's probably uh, a little bit hot, hot in there at one point. At least you walk out of there with unbeat. You know what I'm saying? A recent report reveals that the number of people renting from private landlords and applying for housing benefit is skyrocketing, with 1.65 million claims made last year. Around 5 million households now claim housing benefits. 
High Court Enforcement Agents Steve Pinner and Paul Bowhill, along with trainee Phil Short, are in- How is Phil Short? Who is Phil? Is, is that the son? That don't look like the son. In Enfield, North London. Third floor on the left hand side of the door, I think. Their next case appears to be a routine eviction due to rent arrears. The High Court writ they carry instructs them to evict the tenant and collect £5,800 in unpaid rent today. Someone in the lights on. I'm not even gonna lie, when they be pulling up to these houses, like, thinking they gonna get 5,000, like, what make you think you are gonna get 5,000? I couldn't pay the regular rent when it was the due date. So what do you think you're gonna get five from me for? Somebody tell me. Hello. We're from the High Court. We have an eviction order for this property. Do you understand English? Is there somebody here who does? We always run up against language problems. It's very stressful for them because they have someone banging on their door, shaking a piece of paper. They don't know who we are, what we are, and what authority we have. The woman who's named on the writ fetches her husband. Yes. Morning. Hello, sir. Yeah, we're High Court Enforcement Officers. You speak English, do you? Yeah. Yeah, we have an eviction order here to take possession of the flat today. Today. Yes, no. Abdi and his wife knew of their pending eviction, but they hadn't realized it would happen so suddenly. I knew bro had his foot in the door. So this is the class. We have to wait the bailiff to come. We are the bailiffs. Oh, but we're from the High Court. The couple live in the flat with their five children. They are ex said five children you got five of them things are you playing these type of games expecting their sixth any day five one in the oven hey, no. my wife she's pregnant she's anytime she can have baby tonight today now <laughs> anytime soon when we got there the uh the young lady was heavily pregnant and you know, our piece of paper tells us that they've got to go. Yet she could have a baby at any time. You know, how how quickly can the council do something? We we that, don't that have quick. the authority yeah, yeah. to let them stay there. Paul explains that Abdi and his wife have two hours to pack up the family's belongings. Two hours to go. Two hours to pack up five kids, probably some newborn stuff, and them. That's that's not enough. But I'll, I'll still, you know, we have to get funds to take our things out. I do There's understand that. You can yeah. come back again. I can come back again. Yes, of course you can. You can collect whatever you need to last a few days. But it's not fair. I've got uh, 10,000 uh, things inside here. It's like this purpose. I, I cannot take them out, you know. We cannot take within two hours. We have to call funds. No, no, I do understand. No, I understand that. Mm. I'll give you my card. Uh -huh. which is there, uh -huh. you can ring me uh -huh. and you and I can make an arrangement uh -huh. for you to come back here with a van uh -huh. and take the rest of the stuff. So you're not going to give the keys to the landlord? We're not going to give the keys to the landlord. We've got yes. the keys. OK? That'll be fine. The High Court writ also instructs Paul to collect the £5,800 in unpaid rent. That ain't happening. You come... I like I know I got myself in this situation, but you 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 won with the eviction, but you ain't getting this five. You go ahead, bankrupt me, shorty. <laughs> You're not getting this. Rent and fees. There isn't an amount of rent outstanding. Have you got the money to pay that? The money. There's five thousand pounds in rent outstanding. They already got the money. From where? From the hustle. We got the brief. Brief the electric. The land will get paid already. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why they're taking out so. Damn, so he already got the money and he's still kicking them out? Mm. 
Abdi, a self-employed decorator, and his wife rent the flat from a private landlord. They've lived here for five years, but for the last three, the council have paid the rent. I work on the council is helping me because I don't get enough payments to feed the kids and the house. So I get help from the council, but yeah. It appears the council suspended rent payments pending an investigation into the family's financial and work situation. Abdi insists the arrears have been settled. We believe the rent is paid before the court. Yeah. That's what we believe our council tell us. Yeah, no, no, now we have to move out legally. So that's nothing we can do. That's the... I be, I be feeling like the council tell you though. Know, they send you letters to let you know you gotta, you have to, you have to prove this. You gotta prove that for us to keep paying. Payment has been stopped. It's just, do you believe? Do you read those letters or not? It's not fair. You get paid, uh, and you have to move out. So you have to move. <laughs> Regardless of Abdi's claims. Paul is legally bound to execute the writ. Abdi, his heavily pregnant wife, and their five children are now homeless. Have you been to the council? Yeah. What do they say? They say they pay the money. Uh, will they rehouse you now? We don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take them to the hospital. We're going OK, to fine. You've, you've got the warrant, yeah, no. haven't you? I gave you the paper. Yeah. Take okay. that with you. Yeah. And be... take my card, and they can ring me. Yeah, OK, that's fine. A council worker, aware of the family's rent arrears situation, arrives at the flat. She's armed with information that... She oh, damn, OK. She's on it. ...she hopes can prevent the eviction. We've got the evidence that hasn't been, been paying to the landlord. Yes. Are you with the hard code? Oh, okay, the solicitor. Yeah. Let me, let me pass to you this gentleman, yeah? He's from high court. She asks Paul to speak with Abdi's solicitor. Hello. Now, the landlord decided, for whatever reason, and I'm not party to that, to change it to, a, to the High Court. Fine, thank you very much. The solicitor, the solicitor obviously wasn't aware. He understands the High Court situation. The writ confirms the debt is outstanding. Also, it still and is. the solicitor accepts nothing can be done to prevent its enforcement. Yeah. They said they've paid. The, the council have been paid the arrears. So all this might have been... So they under false information. They think they paid, but they didn't. That's tough. Totally unnecessary. That'd be a tragedy, wouldn't it, really? It's a scenario Paul's seen before. The landlord loses patience in waiting because he's fobbed off constantly by everybody. So he applies for the eviction order. In this case, the lady from the social services said that the benefits payment has now caught up and it has been paid. We're not aware of that and the landlord obviously is not aware of that. How did the landlord not appear aware? It hit his bank account. Don't everybody get notifications when they get a direct deposit? What the fuck? I mean, what the F? What the fudge is what I said to you two? Like chocolate. Concerned for the family's welfare, Paul gives the couple his mobile number. Eight two. Eight one. That's it. My name is Paul. Right. Paul. Paul. Yeah. I don't want you to panic. Go to the council, make arrangements. The council might pay to move you. They might do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we got something like that in America? Is, is that the equivalent to Section Eight? Okay, fine. Now we we'll go into the council to see if they can do something for us. They're gonna put all six of them, seven of them, eight, eight, seven and a half of them in a two bedroom. This is how the council in the UK be working. I'd be noticed that it'd be an eight household family. They put them in a two bedroom. Like, yep, this is what we got. Hopefully, we'll get something from there. Heavily pregnant, 
Abdi's wife heads to the housing office with the children and the council worker. Everything out. The enforcement team secure the flat. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> no, I'm just... Yeah, of course, I'm angry, but what can I do? If I get anger, maybe I can lose my control, so I don't want it to happen. <laughs> uh, that's nothing I can say. So. Smart man. But I hope that's... I know this is a tough situation, man, as the head of the household. Like... Your only job as a man in life is to protect and provide for your family. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you failing at both. This has got to be a tough blow to the manhood for any man. You know what I'm saying? We'll find something good. Better than Nah, me. for real. Like, if this happened to me and I had to look my wife in the eye, like, hey, on some real shit, I might cry. <laughs> Like, this is a tough blow for the ego, for the, you know what I'm saying? For the ego, for the manhood, for everything. I, this is my one thing to do, protect and to provide. That's it. Couldn't do it. This. For Abdi, his family and his unborn... There you go. Put the glasses on. We know what's going on underneath them. On baby, the future is very uncertain. A recent survey found that nearly 20% of apprentices are not Damn. being paid the wages they are entitled to. Many were earning less than the equivalent national minimum wage for their age. Around a fifth, oh, y'all can see that. High Court Enforcement Agent Stuart McCracken and trainee Ian Taylor. Is that his name? Stuart McCracken? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know why that's funny to me. I got real tears. That's crazy. It ain't even that funny. I, he looked like a Stuart McCracken. <laughs> Are in My Cambridgeshire. Bad. They're here to collect a debt of over nine thousand oh, pounds from the owner of a stud Shoot. farm. That's funny. You're not fun of horses, are you? No, I'm terrified of them. They're too big. The debt is for wages owed to a former apprentice. Stuart and Ian's High Court writ there we go, horses, horses. means that if the debtor can't pay, they have the power to remove goods to sell at auction to cover the debt. They're going to take the horses? You're going to be all right with all these horses. going to have to be. The boss wants to get this one, doesn't he? There's vehicles everywhere. The farm is a complex maze of outbuildings and driveways. It's not clear which belong to the business. All on one. Uh, there appear to be two properties on the farm. The problem is, Stuart and Ian don't know which is the debtor's home. Hello? Hello? If they can't find the debtor or identify their home, they can't collect the debt. There's kitchen, bedroom and everything there, so I think that's their house. This is just sort of uh, staff accommodation. But there's no house numbers, is there? We've still got uh, Christmas decorations up. I don't know if that's a good sign if anyone still lives here. Hardest part of the job, I reckon, for me, personally, is not speaking to people. Is putting in those hours and there's nobody there. It must be a house number or something and knowing that you're going to have to report back to the office that you haven't managed to speak to that person. We can't confirm this address. We're not 100% sure that this house is linked to this address. This could be our house, and that could be our business there. Um, but we can't confirm it because we can't speak to anyone. So what I'm going to do is just chat with the neighbours. Well, take the ale, you're done. I wonder if these are court, like, if these are issued these uh, jackets, or did they have to buy them and go like to the middle of the mall and get them engraved or something? Engraved or put, you know what I'm saying? Put this on the back. Because they make their own uniforms. Or they buy their own uniforms. Hello? Hello? 
suppose there's no one around here. No one here either. Nobody wants to not us answering today. you. We've been here half an hour now. Um, uh, there's been no sign of life anywhere. <laughs> Just as they're about to leave, <laughs> some people oh, arrive. Man. Oh, that's funny. Hello. There's just some crack in High Court, unfortunately. Well, they didn't just roll up on horses. Here to execute a writ. It turns out that one of them is the owner. Right. Um, as I don't have that to Right. She got 45 horses, 17 chickens, 36 dogs, a 12-acre greenhouse, 12 properties on the land, 50 acres, but don't got the money to pay, bro. The apprentice. That's crazy. If the debtor can't pay, Stuart and Ian will have to seize any assets they can. And that includes the horses. Two, one horse will do it, right? How much is a horse? Hey, Siri. How much is a horse? To buy a horse, you can expect to pay between one hundred and ten thousand, depending on the horse's breed. There you go, one one horse. You know what I'm saying? This horse don't got a lot of top hair. You got a little, might put a little extension. This might not be worth that much, but oh, there you go, there you go. My bad. I'm opening a restaurant. I still love the name. You don't remember the name? Of course, I remember the name. We didn't even tell anybody. Well, I've got some assets on the prop. That was a crazy range, one hundred to ten thousand. So we'll just do a quick check and find out. Who's buying hundred dollar horses? Like, come on now, that don't even that ain't even a real horse at that point. They've already spotted a horse box and a car. They'll be far easier to seize than the horses, but Stuart and Ian can only take them if they belong to the debtor. They Hi, do. Right. Can someone do a HPI for me, please? A HPI check is very important because it not only does it secure the value of the vehicle, but it also tells us who actually owns the vehicle. Because if it's on finance, the defendant doesn't own the vehicle. It's the finance company that has secured money on that vehicle. So it is important that any asset that you do see, um, you need to do a HPI check on it. Sure. Both vehicles are free of finance, so Stuart seizes them as security against the debt. Look at this. Look at these little dogs. Right, do you have a quick chat about, about this outstanding balance? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the total amount that we've got is 9,450 pounds, and it's a high court rate. Right. I can pay, um... ..4,500 now. Oh, okay. Like I said, I knew she had some money. If she could pay forty five hundred right now at the drop of a dime, that means she probably got like fifteen put up or something like that, twenty maybe, and she can only give like a quarter of what she got put up. Like I knew she had some money. Like come on now, you're not living like this. I don't care what you say. <laughs> you got bread. What? Forty five hundred is enough, uh, Stuart McKenzie. Take the 45, work out the payment plan. Stop trying to get more. Like, that's good. And, um, and then pay the rest as a win. I mean, I can make a, uh, a... A box transfer. Yeah. Right, okay. I can do that now. Right, okay. When the defendant is offered to pay half the amount up front, it's great, obviously, because we're trying to get some cash. Um, but you need to find out about the with regards to the other 50% of the outstanding balance, because we need to explain to the claimant where's the rest of the money coming from and when is this going to be paid. Stuart calls the office. Hi, Gary, it's uh, Stuart, you all right? She said she can pay four and a half now and then pay the remaining amount within 14 days, and we have got assets to seize here. I just need to get confirmation of that agreement. I'll speak to you in a second, bye. 45 to pay now and then the rest within 14 days. Oh yeah, she getting money. She getting money. <laughs> What's the actual outstanding money for? It's a long story. Is it? Um, I um, um, took on a young lady as a, an apprentice. Yeah. And was paying her 
um, what I thought was the right amount of money, which at the time it was. Yeah. And then, but after the second year, it was supposed to go up to um, national minimum wage. Yeah. And uh, I didn't. I didn't know. Wow. Well. Well, that's okay. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm, it's my fault, but I deliberately haven't paid it because I've been wanting to wind them up. Yeah. <laughs> what a dickhead. She said, I deliberately haven't paid them because I wanted to watch. So you, this lady who got food, kids to feed, rent to pay, bills, you just deliberately withholding on some, some, on some ego, ego type. It's not the, it's not the person who's the payment. It's the mother that's the problem. It's been nearly a year now, and I've really given her a hard time. I would give you a hard time too. You owe me 10 bands. You owe me 10, one zero comma, zero, zero, zero. I'm giving you the hardest of hardest times. People unalive for less, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? The office calls Stuart back. The claimants accepted the debtor's offer, but collecting the payment is easier said than done. Shocking. It's probably been out in the sticks, isn't it? No signal from anywhere. That's the biggest thing with technology. Ask her for the Wi-Fi password. That chip and pin machine is great, isn't it? It makes our job so much easier. But when you're in the countryside like this, you get no signal. Oh. Then the debtor's card is declined. Oh, ridiculous. Let's ring the bank. Yeah, you got to call the bank. You got to let them know you about the, you know, a big little amount. They don't think it's fraud. I'd like to make a, a payment, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I one, please. That's an American Express. They won't get their time. Ain't no limit on that. Get them to authorize the payment and we can do a chip and pin. I've got one bar of signal, so let's see if it works. <sighs> Suspense. Tie your pen into there, please. I need gone. some beer. My bad. Yeah. Right, that's gone through. Watch your card there. Just a quick scribble there, just to confirm the arrangement. Remaining amount. OK, and that's it completed. Right, thanks for everything. See you later. It felt good to get that one, knowing that it was not just unpaid wages to an apprentice, but it all came down to a personal grudge with the apprentice's mother. Now, I think uh, the high court fees will make a thing. That's one thing about women, man. I ain't even gonna lie about y'all. Don't even cap right now if you're in the chat. Don't, do not cap. Y'all will hold a grudge, indubitably. Y'all petty. I'm not ever doing anything like that again. Onwards and upwards, on to the next job. The squatters have not returned the central London office block. The building remains empty. Okay, okay. The defendant whose family came together to sort out the debt continues to pay monthly installments. Okay, okay. The stable owner has not settled the debt in her form. I knew it. She got money. Stop it. <laughs> And what, what building, like, how many bedrooms would they give Abby? Oh, damn, they ain't got the... All right, TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Enjoy your Friday.